Good morning, joyful hermit. I've been awake since about three, praying and pondering, awakened by a great deal of physical pain. And um, the aspect of having been overpeopled this week, I call it being overpeopled. I recall a few years ago when I mentioned that in confession once to a rector of cathedral who was my regular confessor at the time. Not not a spiritual director he wasn't, although I think he thought he was. And and when a bishop let him know that he was directing me, that rector became quite upset. Priests are people too. He was bothered that he didn't know and that he was no longer in charge of me in that regard. Anyway, I was just um, he used to sort of chuckle when I'd say I was over people, but I think he understood what I meant. And as a hermit, um, as a Catholic hermit and privately professed, I've noticed increasingly how the Lord utilizes events through the Holy Spirit to guide me in my vocation even, in all aspects of my soul and my daily life. So I, I had a few encounters with people last week that were more than usual, by far more than usual, including someone who was working for me two of the days, helping with electrical. And uh, then of course I had a family member and had gone to a couple of events with the family member. And then uh, the assignment that came along talking to me outside of my hermitage here, and I again met her uh, when I had stopped at a little park at the request of my grandson on the way back to meet his mother. And so um, I, get, I get to the point where um, I think of St. Colette in that she um, was an anchorite, anchoress, and her superior, uh, an abbot in the nearby Benedictine monastery, her, 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 her anchor hold was built right on the side of it, um, she started to have too many people coming. And uh, he told her that she could only have like two or three hours a day in which people could come, and he let it be known amongst the villagers that um, those were the hours that she had in which they could come to her window for converse and spiritual guidance and to ask for prayers. So um, I don't have uh, an abbot next to me, but I have his real presence. And through the interworkings of my life itself, he lets me know when I'm overpeopled and usually my body starts giving out or circumstances are altered in which I know I need more solitude. And so I have to start um, withdrawing or being limited physically so that the amount of people or the activities that I'm asked or invited to out into the world have to be limited. So this evening I will I will go later this afternoon to confession and a mass if my body is able. And there is a new parishioner dinner after that I hope I can attend because the associate priest had thought and, and desired me to um, be able to interact in some activities so that the parishioners would get to know me other than at Mass, where they see me in a mystical state during Mass. So he, he would like for them to get to know me in the more normal ways and to um, realize that I'm um, very accessible or quote-unquote normal person sense of humor, conversationalists, and can plug into their lives 
in a very natural and temporal way. So we'll see, though, if that is what the Lord desires. You know, if, if he gives me the energy and the physical ability to interact in a few things, such as this dinner tonight, in which I could meet people and hear about their lives and uh, not be just known as the person who has the unusual spiritual experience at Mass. So we shall see, but I'm always very grateful to his real presence. I never have to get too concerned that uh, about the path in my vocation and how my hermit vocation is lived out because the Lord has the checks and balances in place. He's in charge of it. And if I get off in one direction or another very far, he uh, enacts the checks and balances and through natural means and temporal means and spiritual means, he guides guides my spiritual life. God bless his real presence in all of us, and I pray you have a beautiful Saturday within the ten days between Ascension, well nine, Ascension Thursday and Pentecost. There are eight days left in which we can pray that anything that hinders our souls will be cleared out and exposed and that the Holy Spirit then will have much more space within our souls to fill us with the graces that will help us help Jesus in working with souls and in the salvation of souls including our own.